Welcome back to Crochet HD. I am your host, Jackie. Today's episode is an unboxing. There is a YouTuber named Casey. Her channel is called Niche Craft with Casey. And I love how she will put together different boxes based on a theme and she matches colors and it's it's actually really cool if you get a chance go and you know take a look at a couple of her videos it's very interesting but also um, aside from many of the videos that she does she also sells mystery boxes on Etsy so I decided to uh, try one out this is her small mystery box she gives you the option of choosing a color scheme and uh, like my season so I chose fall because those are my favorite colors anyway without any further ado let's get to it I got to get I'm in a room full of scissors and can't use any because they are my sewing scissors and you know the rule about the sewing scissors All right, thank you card. Here we go. Wow. Okay. The first thing that greets me when I open this box, it's a skein of Noro yarn. Okay, let's see. 65% wool, 25% mohair, 10% polyamide. It, this feels, it feels different than the Noro that I've, uh, that I already have, but I love this color green and it uses, hmm, eight, to 10 millimeter needles. So what is that? J H I J K K through M. I don't know. I think it's called Alamode, but I'm not a hundred percent sure. There's a whole lot happening on this label. You see that, but anyway, Definitely smells like wool. All right. Also, ooh, <gasps> Ella Ray. Oh my goodness. Okay, look at this color. That is gorgeous. Ella Ray. This is seventy-five percent acrylic, twenty-five percent wool. Okay. It's soft. It's a soft, cozy, soft, chunky, machine washable, and size six to six and a half millimeter. So these actually might actually work together. I've, uh, I've golden oak is the name of this color. I have always wanted. To try Ella Ray. That's so cool. Okay. Oh, another Ella Ray. Bitter Brown Bear. I think I actually was watching a video where she did an unboxing and this specific skein was in that unboxing. Now these two would definitely go together. Wow. That's cool. And oh, okay. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I saw her unbox these yarns because she she orders mystery boxes and then you know again recalibrates them uh, into her own mini mystery boxes. So that's cool. Yes, I've seen their origin story. That's pretty cool. These are 131 yards each. I. I think I can, I can do some damage with this. All right. And this is Sundance Serendipity. This does, I've never heard of this one. 
it's 80 percent acrylic 20 percent nylon 174 yards or 160 meters it requires a let's see mm -hmm, size l or eight millimeter hook or six millimeter knitting needles made in china okay this it what does it remind me of it's going to sound weird but i think it kind of reminds me of the feel of insulation you know like the pink panther insulation that's what it reminds me of just on first touch i mean it is mostly acrylic and it's like i guess maybe a brushed acrylic um it looks like it's chain spun i think it'll make a nice um cowl or scarf and i like the colors so that'll be interesting to work with okay and oh i was going to say last but not least but nope all right this is what is this quince quince 100% organic linen linen okay 168 yards or 155 meters machine wash cold lay flat to dry made in Italy quince okay I there was that yarn shop that um Crystal at Bag o Day had, she had done an unboxing for because they were actually going out of business. And I had gone to the website and added several things to my cart. But by the time I got to the checkout, the items had already been sold out. I'm pretty sure this was one of the things in my cart. Okay, I've got two. This color is Sparrow. I've got three. This color is called, okay, nope, Sparrow is not the color. Let me see, where did I figure out the color name? I don't know what the color name is. Oh, Maze. And it's, uh, it's like the color of yellow cornmeal. That's what it reminds me of. So Maze is a perfect name. This one is called, port 207 oh port that makes sense that is a i mean it's a wine color but it's like a mud uh like a chalky wine color and the first one is called truffle okay that one i actually got right i have no idea what a truffle looks like so i'm assuming it's this it's like a silver, silver, silver lavender kind of color. It's really pretty. Okay, and that <clears throat> is that box. This linen is going to be interesting. I have a linen blend yarn that I purchased from Hobie sometime early, oh, earlier this year. And I'm not a fan. It's, I can't remember what it's what it's blended with but I, I don't like it and and it you know I don't like the feel uh, this feels a little bit different but at the same time I can definitely see the resemblance to the, the Hobie I don't know what you would use this for 168 times 3 yeah I don't know I don't know what I would use these I have no idea what I would use this for. The retail value on these is $10 a piece. Now, and I know that when I went to check out, they were, the, the prices were 70% off. So that came out to $3 each. So that's not 
not bad at all again I just don't know what I would use it for so I got one two three four five six seven eight skeins of yarn and I believe I paid 30 I think it was thirty dollars I think that's right plus shipping I'm not I'm not sure I can't remember but um, overall I'll tell you what what I'm impressed by is none of these are yarns that I've used before thankful for just an opportunity to especially brands that you've heard of um, that others have used but you know you've never had an opportunity to I did see some of this at the local yarn shop when I when I um, went but it I guess I forgot it was there I, I don't know or, or it was never I remember it was it was very pricey now I don't think it was necessarily the cozy soft chunky but um, but it, it didn't I wasn't interested in it, in it apparently so I didn't get any so I'm glad I have some now now my mind is thinking about cowls I might have a tumor it's not a tumor would I buy another mystery box I think I will I think that I mean it wasn't overly expensive and the shipping was really quick because she lives she just li lives like if you were to look at the United States she lives right upstairs from me because she's in Arkansas and it shipped Tuesday and it's Thursday and it got here so I like that I like I like Casey I like watching her videos I, I like that uh, just the way she I don't, I don't know what the word is but you know her her attention to detail as far as again putting things together by color um, under a theme I think one of the first videos of hers that I watched she it was a, a apparently it was a mystery box that she had in her shop that hadn't sold so she decided to I think she uh, ended up putting it up for a giveaway and it was like black and white and she was thinking that maybe that's the reason why nobody wanted it because black and white but when she opened up the box and you could see all the things in it it was so meticulously put together and you know I wanted it just because of how well she had you know it was like her talent for color coordinating went beyond what I could even imagine so that's my unboxing that's going to do it for me today if you like the video please like the video until next time i've been jackie